Welcome, I'm Steve. Please join me on my Jurassic Jungle Garden journey. I will get more G's in there. Um, so, following on from the wind issue, I decided to branch out, excuse the pun, onto um, a few more problems and potential issues with plants that have been put in. So we'll do a quick whistle, top, whistle stop tour, easy for you to say, and um, we'll go from there. So. Yeah, so this fig tree here is, um, it had a few issues with aphids, but um, it seems to be okay now, it's chucking out some big leaves. I will fan train that, but we'll do that in another video. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, I have no idea, but I guess as that stem's woody and this year's growth is all green, I assume you just wait till the right time and sort of chop off the ones you want to chop you know leave the ones that you want to turn woody next year so easy obviously um so he's doing all right i'm quite happy with him uh, these are two little seedlings i think they're dahlias or climbers i want to say morning glory or something like that um but yeah it was my first attempt at growing from seed which i did a bit late and then i just chucked them out so you know i'm not particularly worried about them uh, as we follow up here, you'll probably hear the wind going. Uh, that, that's my biggest problem, so that's actually quite apt um, that I'm doing this on a windy day. Um, obviously, refer to my previous video if you want to hear my issues with the wind. Um, so, yeah, if it annoys you, just think how much it annoys me, um, and then we'll both think how much it annoys the bananas and the tree fern. But anyway, so. The silver ferns here, these two, um, they don't look too clever. They've lost that sort of vibrancy, if you like. Um, so I think it's because they're either, because they're raised up from the this, if you see what I mean. You see it's on a slight slope. Um, it's probably, they're either getting too much sun or it's, they like moist soil. Um, either way, they need to move, so we'll have to find a place for them. The Cyathea is doing okay. There's a few old fronds on it. You can probably see this one just there. Um, but other than that, he's actually not too bad. If we get in there, you can sort of just about see he's kicking out a few new fronds. There's one at the back there, so I'm quite happy to leave him there. He seems to be quite nice in the sun. Um, I wouldn't say it's full sun, I would say it's the second half of the day sun for that one. So he's alright to stay there. Uh, this is a small Dixonia. He seems to be okay. Um, he's chucking out new fronds. Um, I don't know how I need to care for that, but we'll, we'll find out. I'll just leave him basically for the meanwhile. Um, this thing, which I believe uh, was the Dryopteryx Wallichiana. Uh, he's doing really well up there, so he obviously likes well-drained soil, and that's a bit more That's like almost sort of sh sun and that's shade because that fence is there and the Sun comes up Sort of behind that tree and up that way So it's sort of like this is almost always in shade until the Sun gets around to where it is now um, so yeah, so this um, Dixonia, which I only bought a couple of weeks ago, all these fronds were the ones that were on it pretty much, these damaged ones that you can see just here. I think that's just where it was grown and it was lent up against something, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, it's thrown out this this frond um, since I've had it. Um, that one looks really nice, and I don't know if you can see the textures and just the colour of it, but yeah, it's very nice to the touch, this one, I must say. Um, and then it threw up this one as well, but can you see we've got a few um, black sort of tinges on it. I think that's where it was like brand new, it rained and then it was sunny um, and it burnt them. So that, I'm going to go with that and we'll sort of see next time, I mean, it might be next year now, if it survives as I can sort of overwinter it properly. Uh, but we're quite mild here so I'll probably just chuck some um, straw in the crown. Uh, and give it a little wrap maybe just because it's the first year and then go from there so the other plant which is the fat cedera over there which is half fatsia and half um, ivy 
this is getting attacked by aphids. I'll try and take, with my telephoto lens, I'll try and take some pictures of these end leaves, but I don't know if you can see them, but right there in the centre of that leaf, the one on the top of the sort of two, we can see now there's a load of them, and on that sort of back, so it's a bit dark. I'll, I'll get some proper pictures and put them on, but basically, yeah, that is getting absolutely ravaged by aphids. Um, the plan is to let nature do its course. It's, I mean, it's throwing up a nice leaf at the end there, so whether they can sort of sort themselves out, but I just, this tree here drops loads of twigs and things like that. I've just started collecting them. I mean, that's just the last couple of days, that's what's fallen, the, fallen down that I found, or, or it might not have fallen down, I've just found it underneath there. So I'm just gonna stack them up and hopefully that'll attract some bugs in. We've got a few hoverflies I've noticed have turned up. Um, and I've seen a couple of beetles, so hopefully I'll start seeing some ladybirds soon. But the ants are on them, they're farming them, I think. So, um, yeah, it's being protected, so we'll see how it does. But this fat seal was really struggling with it to begin with. You can probably, it's a bit windy, I apologise for the sound, but you can probably see them just there. Um, But basically, there's a load, there's a patch of them there. Now, this was struggling, but you can see that leaf there looks really nice, healthy, and glossy. So I'm just wondering whether it's going to sort itself out, um, and you know, I just leave them there as sort of sacrificial ones, or whether I blast them off. Or whatever. But that looks really nice. That you can just see that all in the evening light. Well, it's not evening; it's about five o'clock. But that's a shine. That's not white. That's the shine of the sun coming off it. So that's quite nice. And the idea of that is to let it grow high. Um, so hopefully it'll offer a bit of cover to the tree fern crown if I get a big one over there somewhere because that's, that's the next one over there. This thing seems to be doing perfectly. That frond snapped but that was probably just the little one when he was messing around so not too worried about that. Other than that he is more than happy. Same with these. This is a little splenium here. Oh yeah actually I did forget one. This little arachne weeds doesn't seem to be doing too much. It's only been in about three weeks um, but so that might be where I put one of the silver ferns and then I might move that somewhere but I might give it another week or two just to see how it goes. Um, the vertical garden, this is obviously just experimenting. I think what I found out from this actually is that they need to be all the same so I need that, it, it all needs to be trailing plants so that the, the top of the plant covers the black bit below it and then the next one covers it, covers it, covers it, covers it, blah, 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 blah. Or they all need to be up. And as this asplenium is doing so well, both of them, um, seeing as I haven't really looked after it, you know, I haven't fed them or done anything, it's just been natural rainwater getting into them. Um, I might do them all with that. From the from the bottom up and then it'll make it look like just one green mass and the idea is to give it a sort of jungle you know tree with loads of epiphytic plants or is it epiphytic i want to say epiphytic um but you know where they all grow on the side so they all seem to be doing all right apart from this little i can't remember what it's called but it was it was in a pot when i bought one of the other plants from the tropical garden place uh camellia seems to be doing all right we'll just leave that in there and i'll just give it some food i think these two these did look a bit rough these jurassic golds i, I think they're both the same they look the same you can see this one on the left has chucked out a nice orange tinged front to it so they seem like they're doing all right there now um this fern's doing right the ferns aren't getting any issues with aphids or anything like that i think it's mainly um geographical issues with them as in where they're placed this camellia is doing all right um yeah i'll just leave it maybe might thin it out because it looks like it's getting a bit clumped in there but yeah i can't see any ill effects so if it ain't broke don't fix it these hearts tongues the spleniums are doing well this thing is doing well as well what's this the herrenhausen um so yeah the, what i like about this one is the way it grows because the other ferns obviously it un the the fronds sort of unfurl don't they whereas with this it looks like it's sort of jabbing them out at different random I don't know if you can see like the random angles it's kind of like arrowing them out at you um, and hopefully the idea of having all these ferns down here is that they all overlap the edge in, and grow right out if you see what I mean so I'm hoping they're going to come like almost halfway across this and this is about a meter between the climbing frame 
and the um, edging. That was the idea, and then I'll just grow some vertical stuff to sort of make it, you know, look all right. Uh, so this is a Matachuia, Matachuia. Um, you know, he looks like he's doing all right there. The colour's nice and that sort of limey green, so I'll leave him there. These are two royal ferns. That one's only just gone in. Uh, this one's been in a while, doesn't seem to be doing a lot, but they like damp conditions apparently, so it might be that it's not damp here. So maybe when I'm messing around in the future, if I notice a patch of dirt somewhere is always wet, um, then uh, yeah, I'll um, move them maybe. And then this is another heron house, and not quite doing as well as quite that, but then this does get the morning sun, so and you know, it might be slightly different soil to over there as well, so it just goes to show. They were put in at the same time and they were the same size, so just goes to show, um, you know, what's that, metre and a half and two completely different outcomes to the same plant. And I bought them at the same time from the same place, so you would have thought they're all, uh, you know, of that ilk. Um, so this is the sort of dappled shade from that tree in the morning and then when it gets to about 11 o'clock, it's full sun. Uh, it's also getting really brutalized by the wind um, but yeah everything seems to be right the bananas doing okay apart from the wind messing it up all the ferns and that those nephophias the sort of grassy type ones I don't think they're gonna flower this year they're red hot pokers uh, but what I'm actually gonna do with them is probably at the end of the year or early next year I'll take them out and then I'll put them at the back of that flower bed against the sort of wood. One where the sunflower is on the left and one to the right at the back, if you see what I mean, just so it breaks it up and hopefully that foliage will be evergreen. So that'd be quite nice. And then that gives me a spot in there. Yeah, you can see the wind. And again, coming away from the house, the uh, tree ferns going as well. So yeah, you see that this one's, this one's going. Uh, the tree fern was going but that one wasn't going so yeah refer to the, the previous video for that um that lady fern to your sort of top right in the middle of that sort of section i only put that in a week ago but the rest of them i can't see any real issues with them so we'll leave them uh, this is a bit more of the exotic flowers in here so we've got the banana this banana is actually doing really well this is full sun this bed um so he's like really chunky he's really green the pups are really good and healthy so i'm i'm starting to get some uh, expectations for this one i must say but we'll go from there uh the sunflower he's doing good the canna's doing good maybe we've got a bit of a munch in this uh sword fern i've only just put them in a week or two ago so can't really say too much about that one yet that's dappled shade because this bench but I don't know if it's dappled because the sunlight's still coming through and it might be that it's more, you know, pronounced, if you know what I mean, because it's coming through a smaller gap. But anyway, we'll see how it does. This ginger seems to be being eaten by something. You can see this new leaf. It's got bits taken out of it. And um, the sort of top two leaves. But yeah, I mean, if I find a snail in there, then I'll take it out. But yeah, other than that, we'll see how he does. This sunflower is getting aphidized as well. I don't know if you can see that. There are probably hundreds of them in there, so I might need to sort that out pretty quickly. But what I'll probably do is build another bug bed in here and just chuck loads of sticks in, in a pile, just start piling them up. This fern's doing nice. This is in full sun. This is a Blechnum chilinesi. It's thrown up another new frond, so he seems to be doing well, seeing as he's only been in um, a couple of weeks. Uh, the Eucomis is doing well. I think that might be the flower coming out of the center of that. It looks different to the other leaves, so yeah, that's quite good. That's only been in, I don't know, two weeks. Uh, Bromeliad's not doing well. The actual one in the vertical garden over there is doing better. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so I might have to move him and put him in a pot and just let him recover somewhere inside. Um, we go from there. This banana, I had to, one of the leaves got shredded by a cat. Uh, the one on the right, you can just see where I've taken that off because it was just absolutely wrecked. So, um, but he seems to be doing all right there. This plant has got bigger, but I can't really tell how. I guess they grow out the middle. Is this this a new leaf here? I guess. But yeah, he seems to be doing well. So, not too bad. The mint is doing really well. So you know what that means. Time to buy a bottle of rum. 
and then lastly we've got these climbers which are doing something these are ones I grew from seed um, they don't look great to me to be honest with you nor in the other pot but I'll just keep feeding them and watering them and see what happens and then the bamboo which I said in the previous video I'm gonna see how it does just keep feeding it and watering it um, and if it survives it survives if it doesn't then I'll take it all apart keep the rhizomes or whatever it is underground and then build a different I'll probably do like one on a 45 like a triangle if you see what I mean so the corner and then a so it's on a diagonal um, there's some plants in the pots there so yeah that's about it really I mean I'm going to probably blast off the aphids that I can see around and just let the plant now the weather's really good it's about 22 degrees so everything's nice and warm middle of June so we're coming up to the longest day um, so yeah I guess I'll just move those silver ferns maybe do a little bit of moving around of a couple of them blast the aphids off uh, and hope and hope the wind stops if I try and find out a way to stop the wind Okie dokie, right, thanks for watching, have a good day.